what is going on guys we are back now today and you guys can already read from the title today we have the trailer for the new zombies map that is coming to black ops 3 first on ps4 next week if you guys do have that uh, as a season pass or if you guys have already pre-ordered the single pass for you guys to get the new zombies map plus the four new multiplayer maps but in this video today we are going to be watching the new zombies map gameplay trailer and also slow it down and check out what we can gather and what information we can get from that trailer so as further ado guys i'll let you guys watch it and we will experiment and tell and i will tell you guys what is happening and how it's going to persuade into the next storyline since um confirmed i'll tell you guys the confirmed part like after everything um so it makes a lot more sense but yes guys we have reached 142 subs this is amazing guys we actually gained like 10 subs like in one day this weekend and it was actually pretty interesting to see like how many like how those subs like were gaining for just like one whole day like i was just playing for one hour and boom we gained like 10 subs and then we gained two the next day it was amazing guys you guys are the best and without further ado here's the trailer right now Alright guys, now we're going to be examining this video. As you can see at the beginning, we could see the Division 9 symbol. Now what that is, it is actually a secret facility different than 935. Um, what it is, is actually a secret research facility that actually uses the technology and also element 115 like group 935, but is also different. It's actually a hidden facility that's hidden inside this map that we are going to be playing on in dlc2 for black ops 3 so as you guys can see right here we get to see part of the bases over here looks like the pack punch machine looks like it's gonna be right there and also we get to see some people in jars where the division 9 group must have been experimenting and at the end we all get to see what these creatures will turn into and then also we get to see looks like to be a brand new zombie looks like it actually looks the same as the Shino Numa version and then also we get to see some good little long range clips of the zombies dropping down and it looks like our characters are about to fight now this really does surprise me is that we are going to be getting the DLC weapons for multiplayer into the zombies map of Jijoba no Shima now we get to see gameplay of the mp40 and with the hvk and also the characters looks like surviving part of the base this map does look bigger than origins combined and maybe just the same amount of space as origins now we get to see some cocoons and also the look of the new trap the lotus fly trap now this is amazing because honestly the fly traps in real life are cute little plants but if you get close to them they are gonna hurt you and they are probably gonna um rip off part of your limbs it depends how big and the size of the plant is and also we get to see some gameplay 
of it getting um, played out in a couple of seconds and also the look of the MP40 in zombies. But yes, here it is right here, the Lotus v or the Venus flytrap. I'm trying to think of the name, but I think it is the Venus flytrap. And then also the Argus pulling out of the uh, mystery box and also clips of Takio just going ham and then ta um, Tank Dempsey with the minigun and the MP40 again. And it looks like we are getting the MX Grand as well. And then also we get to see look of the plane crashing which will actually change up the map and the traps. So it looks like we are getting the traps that were kind of like in um, that World at War map. I'm trying to think of what it was called. Um, I think it was Shinonuma. No, it wasn't Shinoshima. But it was a World at War map that actually had like the little um, rakes or like the spikes that went like in a spiral on the map. I, I forgot what that's called. And also, of course, the monkeys. You can never go wrong with the monkeys. The beautiful monkeys that save your life every time you, you know you're about to die somewhere. And then some clips of the zombies getting killed. And then now we get to see the new transport system. We can actually slide into caves and land up in a whole different part of the map. And the new transport system right here as well. It looks like it is going to be a sewer kind of um, trash bin disposal. That is going to shoot us from one side of the map and shoot us through the water and out through the other end of the map. And then also we get to see the Marshall 16s. And I'm going to look right there. If you guys could see that. There look like to be a plant right next to that power up. We do not what that know what that is, but I will be commenting and making another video as soon as we know what that is. And also we get to see the spiders. Um, people have been wondering if the spiders are going to be like the dogs. That is confirmed, I'm thinking to myself. And also we are going to be fighting zombies underwater. It's about time that they've been... Um, that they're going to use this mechanics that they do in multiplayer and the campaign for zombies because we've never seen underwater combat unless we are ch unless that uh, we are playing multiplayer or campaign but yes guys now we get to see the division 9's new project we do not know what the name of him or she is but it looks like an oz like creature from advanced warfare and also part of the aliens kind of like they did in call of duty ghost 2 or in call of duty ghost in general i meant but yes guys amazing and i have a f so i have a few more things to say before we end off with this video and one of them is our the spider is going to be like the dogs in the past Call of Duty videos or like the past maps on Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and or other maps. I think they are because there's no we haven't we didn't even see at least one dog or at least one hint to a dog in that trailer unless it counted as the spiders. And we saw more than at least four spiders in that video while they were attacking them. And it honestly is pretty sick. It's kind of like. One of those reskins that they did in Black, um, I'm not in Black Ops, in uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, is that if you got that one variant, you got another variant. It's kind of like reminding me of that. I know that um, zombies and everything aren't variants of anything, but I like how they're reskinning and changing up the play style for each single map of for Black Ops 3, and it's actually pretty cool of what they can do in the next two DLCs after this one drops and or future other things too like um, the conspiracy of the or kind of like theories about the AK-47 reskin coming back into Black Ops 3 it, it's honestly possibilities of what these guys are, are technically Activision and Vondahar and Jason Blundell are trying to hint out to us and it's honestly pretty cool and also, honestly I can see them trying to do it in the near future and I just really appreciate that they're actually doing all this stuff. And also, we didn't see nothing with um, those specialty weapons. We will be con I will be actually making another video as soon as those special weapons um, or the specialist weapon for the zombies map gets leaked out and or gameplay is found of it. But yes, guys, please leave a like and subscribe. Um, I'm actually video videoing this and making this um, late at night, so I want to try to get some rest for everything that's prepping for the DLC drop. But yes, guys, please like and subscribe. This is Scary Fawn here. More subscribers, and we will be making an amazing video about montage, and you guys can play with me on Xbox. So yes, guys, please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everybody. This is Scary Fawn here, and...